A welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Detroit Become Human on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And in the last video, we got quite a few things done for once. We played as Connor, and we took Hank to meet the creator of the androids, so that we could find out some information about androids and why they might be becoming deviants and all that good stuff. We didn't get any information because I decided to make Connor have a bit of empathy for another android, and the deal was, kill the android, and he'll give me information, don't kill it, and he won't. So I didn't get no information, but Hank was happy with us. Uh, we also finished off the stuff where we had to rescue robots and do a uh, a bit of a um, protest or whatever, and we ended up doing it violently, and we started flipping cars and burning them. Then uh, some police turned up and shot a few androids, so I punished them by shooting them, because you guys and girls want me to be an evil son of a bitch for some reason. Uh, Marcus and uh, North also had a conversation and now they're lovers. They also touched each other's hands and that's practically like sex in the robot world. So uh, yeah, they've practically banged that. And uh, we haven't played as Kara yet in the last video. Or the video before that. It's been two videos of no Kara. So I assume we're going to see Kara soon. But yeah, let's continue. I'm not sure what we're doing now. But yeah, let's find out. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Rally your people. Convert there more androids. androids. Join us. There are androids the here who could are, join us. So, okay. so I think what we're doing now is we're going to do a peaceful march. You know, a peaceful protest. You know, we're just going to walk along and let everybody know that we're androids and we're sick of this shit. So um, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do now. But I, I don't know how well it's going to go. Because when I did this on my own, obviously, I, wa I was doing pretty much everything peacefully. The only thing that was ever considered... Um, You're like free. aggressive towards them was when I did my message in my own playthrough I felt like I did a very reasonable message but for some reason they took it as a threat I don't know why I think if you picked determined and not peaceful when you do the message the determined bit which to me just sounds like you're being firm it doesn't sound like it's aggressive but for some reason this game considered that a hate speech or some shit and everybody hated me but after that, I made things a bit more peaceful. And I think when I got to this bit, they were neutral with me. So, uh... Oh, God, here we go. Look, talking about androids now. I don't see any other androids around here. Is that Rosie? I thought that was Rosie, then. I was like, what's she doing here? Oh, here we go. There's a couple around here. Come with us. He's going to get annoyed now. You're going to put... Oh, he's going to get pissed now, isn't he? Oh, they didn't notice. <laughs> Don't think they noticed. Because they're on the phone. Typical people in this world, always on their phones. Oh, you're already with me. Okay. Because the more people you, uh, you convert, the more people that follow you. So it'll make your message a bit more powerful. Because if you do a protest and you've got two people with you, it doesn't really have much impact, you know? If you've got a protest with one million, then uh, it really leaves an impact. But to be honest, protesting does nothing, and that includes the real world. How many times have we seen people protesting in London, in England? They're always whinging and crying about some bollocks, you know? Most of the time it's just some bullshit. It's just an excuse for people not to go to work. You know, it does nothing. You want to send a message, you got to do it aggressively. Just walking around holding a stupid fucking sign saying, you stop doing this. It doesn't do anything. It does nothing. Block the road. All right then. Well, that's not violent at all, is it? Like ten minutes. Yes. Come on, mate. I'm going to need a few people You're if I'm going to have now. to try and move a bloody truck into the road. I suppose if we're going to do a protest hey, down the road, it'll be good to block it. Look at him. He's not happy, is he? You're free. <laughs> Well, the problem with this coffin that is uh, when I'm when I'm filming things like the wolf quest and that I keep scaring the uh, the deers when I cough you know so I'm having to try and hold it in and the more you try and hold in the cough when it does finally come out it's a lot more loud and crazy you know so it's been a bit of a problem for me at the moment you're <laughs> 
trying to hold it in through this video as well. That sounds a bit dirty, doesn't it? Trying to hold it in, like I'm going to rip one in a minute. <laughs> Alright, let's block off this road. Oh, okay, so we're not using the truck. How do we block the road then? Marcus, we should find a way to block the road. That's what I was doing. I was trying to move the truck. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I've got to convert these two first. That's probably why. Yeah, I see. To block the street. Okay. Oh, so they're going to drive the truck out. I like how they look the same. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, so I get, yeah, okay, they're gonna block it for me. I thought we were gonna push it for some reason. Open the manhole cover. What are we opening the manhole cover for? Why do we open the man? Why do we wanna go in the sewer? Is it a monster? Oh. Oh, I guess it's the people from Jericho, ain't it? Yeah, because we probably brought all of our people from Jericho for the protest, you know? Because like I said, the more people, the more powerful your message is going to be. Convert more androids. Right, as you're walking in this bit, you can look left and right. And you can, uh... You can convert people. See? You're free now. Oh yes, oh yes. Obviously, if, uh, if there's any uh, any situation where I've got a... Um... Oh look, this is what I was talking about. Look, this one looks like Kara. Oh, it didn't show it. Yeah, but that one looks like Kara. So I think I mentioned it a few videos back when I said that uh, Kara shouldn't have to worry about being spotted because there's so many damn androids that look like Kara that it shouldn't be too easy to spot. I suppose Alice will be a bit of a giveaway though, wouldn't she? Oh, look at that. I love it. If you turn around though, look. They're actually following you. See, so look at that. If you do change the camera though, don't let go of the analog sticks. If you let go of the analog stick and you start pressing forward when you change the camera, he actually starts walking backwards. Rise up, sons of the horde. But I'm going to put an angry one on there. <laughs> I never did this when I played it on my own. Because that's a bit more aggressive, isn't it? That's a bit more like, yeah. Because that pacifist sign is the one you want to use for when you're being a pacifist. Which I'm not doing, you know. I'm, I'm playing this a bit more. Well, I'm playing it how you guys and girls told me. 180. Is there actually 180? Oh, f look at that. And they're all following me as well. I, li I like stuff like that. I like it when the numbers get bigger on uh, in video games, you know. That's one thing I'm looking forward to in the future, you know, where there's so much power in the PCs and the consoles that you can start have ridiculous numbers of enemies on the screen. Like in Days Gone, you know, the amount of, like, freakers or zombies, but they're called freakers in that game, but the amount of those that chase you on screen, you know, you would never think of something like that on the PS1 days. If you had to what it would be like on the PlayStation 8, it's just going to be glorious, isn't it? Wait, stop him, mate. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, then. Well, you're, you're a brave boy, ain't you? <laughs> oh, see, that's what happened. See, I was pressing forward, and then the camera changed, and then he starts walking forward, but the wrong way. Yeah! Freedom! It's like brave art. <laughs> oh, 
I can't even hear what they're saying because I've got the TV practically muted. Oh shit. Brilliant. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. Now this is... If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. This is an example. We have to attack. There's more if you stand your ground, they still shoot you. We attack. We'll start and you can either stand there and lots of your troops die. Just you can retreat, which they don't dying. like. I did retreat and they didn't like it. They got mad with me. This is your last chance. Or you can attack, which I've never done. I'm going to attack, obviously. Right, we're going to attack because I'm being a bad guy. Let's do it. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Follow me! <laughs> he soon came with us, though, didn't he? I hope I don't end up dead from this. Oh, you go on. Go on, Marcus. See how they like it. Being treated like shit. Yeah, you're not so badass now, are you, boys? Where's the guns at? We need guns. That's what we need. A lot more better at shooting when you're an android. I hope I don't get Marcus killed, though. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a fan of quick time events. They're such a, a cheap, flipping thing to get you killed, aren't they? Damn, it's badass this is. It's much better than just standing there and getting shot at. Because you literally stand there until they shoot all your people near enough. <laughs> I'm going to jail. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get fucking destroyed, ain't I? Oh, crap. Fuck, you know, I'm like Rambo, ain't I? Crap, they're jumping, mate. I don't know if I've got enough troops, to be honest. Was this a bad idea? Oh, oh shit. I pressed the wrong one, then. I'm very scared of pressing the wrong button in this game, because you could die so easily. Shoot at me, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Don't put the gun down. Shoot people. Man, this is a lot more fun being bad. I'm telling you, you know, because they just run off otherwise and that's the end of this scene. You know, actually battling them is actually like some sort of effort, you know. A bit of like, I mean, gameplay. <laughs> oh, God, I keep pressing the wrong button. But I've only done it twice. I tell a lie, but, you know, that's more than, that's more than enough. Revenge, boys! Revenge! If we're going to be bad, we're going all out! <laughs> Fucking hell. Brutal. Savage Wolf. I didn't choose to do this. Oh no, Simon lived. That's not good. He's going to give his shit there, isn't he? Jericho's happy about it. <laughs> What's he smiling about? Pfft. 
Did we win? No, we didn't. It's about equal, really, wasn't it? Happy about that, are they? They already hated me. It can't go any lower. <laughs> they weren't happy about me flipping their cars, that's for sure. Freedom March. Marcus defeats the police. So, what is the options? I guess there's an option for Marcus to die. So, you're gonna. I think the one I got was retreat. Because I was standing my ground, being peaceful, and they was attacking me, you know, and I wasn't doing anything. Because if that's going to be shown on the news, it's going to make the media and it's going to make the public a bit more towards supporting the androids. Because you're standing your ground and they're still shooting you. But I, 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 so many people were dying, I started panicking because I thought I was going to end up having Marcus killed. And I wanted to finish the game with everybody alive. So uh, eventually I ran, but that, that sent my reputation down with Jericho. It helped a little bit with the public, I guess. And I guess there's an option for standing your ground continuously without running. And I guess there's one for dying, I suppose, if you don't do the quick time events right. So, quite a few options in this one. But yeah, let's carry on. Uh, hopefully we're with Kara now. We ain't been with her for two videos. No! <laughs> oh no, we back... Oh god. Oh no, I don't want to talk to Amanda. She doesn't like me. When she, when she finds out that we didn't shoot the android to get information, she's going to be right... Pissing with me, isn't she? Oh no, there she is, look. Oh, the lake's frozen. Oh, she's standing on the lake. Oh, if we're lucky, it will melt and she'll fall in. Oh, what's this? Oh, actually, we remember this. Remember this is here. This will be very, 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 very important. If you want to be a goodie, Remember this. If you want to get the best ending ever, remember this thing right here. Because it's going to help out. Although nothing in this game feels like a bloody good ending to me. All of them feel a little bit eh. Don't slip over. Careful. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I say that I don't have the option. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you <laughs> chose not to ask. How does she know? Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. <laughs> I lied. I got her back on my team, but I don't really care. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? I'm not a unique model, am I? The, the, the PS4 fan is going there? mental. I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. <laughs> find the deviants. Or there Shit's will be going chaos. down. This is Shit's your last going chance, down. I should really be keeping Amanda on the sweet side, you know, just saying what she wants me to say. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. 
and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But I've got my best friends now. Come on. Oh, we're friends. Hello. Nice to be friends. And a path unlocked as well. Talk to Hank. So we're off the case. Because we was working on homicide right at the beginning. Checking out all of the uh, deaths and that. And it was discovered that it was constantly these deviants doing it. And I guess as we had a lot of experience. And obviously I've got Connor with Hank. You know, Hank was assigned to do, uh, finding out stuff about these deviants. But then the FBI gets involved and they think they're better than everyone and then they take over, don't they? I don't know if it's actually... I've said this already in this playthrough, but I don't know if it's actually like that. If you're in America and you've had any experience with the FBI for whatever damn reason, let me know. Are they dicks or not? Because I don't bloody know. I'm from England, so I wouldn't know. We, we only really have the police here. We've got like the SAS and, you know, like MI5 or 6 or whatever number it is, you know, stuff like that. But it's mostly just the police, really. That do stuff. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans Oops. created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, I never know what to say. Sometimes it feels like it, it, they say completely different things to what I expect, you know? You Some of these are worded really stupidly. Empathy's a human emotion. That's true, that is true. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. Let's ask about Hank's secret whilst we're a friend. I know there are things that haunt you. Maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but huh. I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Lovely. I was hoping that he would uh, talk about his son when I asked about his secret. I was hoping he wouldn't get pissy with me. But we've become close friends, ain't we? Right, so I've got five minutes and uh, I guess Hank is going to cause an argument with Perkins. Go and have a fight with him or whatever. Yeah, see? <laughs> I hope he punches Perkins in the face. That was a bit of a weird conversation, wasn't it? Let me pause it so I don't run out of time. That was a weird conversation, wasn't it? At first, I was making choices that I didn't even want to say. I made Connor sound like a dick, but all the options always seem like he's going to say something completely different to what I think he's going to say. So you end up pressing the wrong bloody option, and they say things you don't want. I really hate it when it happens, because obviously the person that creates the game is going to be thinking differently to me. So then you make... It's the same with Telltale Games. You make choices, and they always seem to be... Nothing like I wanted. I hate it when it does that. But we started off having like a mini argument. And then we was on about empathy. And then suddenly I'm asking about his secret and that he needs to move on. And now he's having a punch up with a cop and I'm looking for some evidence. But yeah, we need to try and find out, find some evidence about the deviants in all of the stuff we've gathered throughout this game. Problem is, hey, I'm not going to have nowhere near as much. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around. 
Oh, that's the talking. cop, isn't it? <laughs> that's the other cop. But I'm gonna have way less evidence because when I played this on my own, I killed the Tracys, so I had like a Tracy body to use. The uh, the dude who was being interrogated also died, so I had him to interrogate. Like he was, his evidence was here, you know. So yeah, it's, I feel like it's gonna be a bit more difficult now. Hopefully, I don't screw up because I want a time limit as well. Because everything you've done in this game. What would a hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose? Hank Adams, a fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying, Wolf. Wolf, that's I'm dying. Where is Jericho? Oh, oh, I got Simon here. Oh, here we go. I never knew Simon was here. Because obviously, when I did this on my own, Simon lived. Right, let's check Simon. He's definitely gonna know. Needed for reactivation. Okay, so the only, uh, we only need to find exclamation, uh, hashtag 3983V. 3983V because I think you could find different parts on different androids and start connecting things. Right, let's have a look on this guy. Oh, this is Fingy from the beginning, isn't it? Because you take body parts from each android and so you've got to work an android and then you try and question them, but that don't necessarily mean. Ah, oh, there we go. That don't necessarily mean that all of them are going to be compatible, and if they do. If you do manage to repair an android, that don't necessarily mean they're going to actually help you. Sometimes they won't help you at all, you know. So you have to be clever with this bit. And you're on a time limit as well. And if you don't find a location, then I don't know what happens. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Trying to trick him. Let's have a look amongst... Oh, I know what I can do. I think. Could we just play the video to him? This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Sample for oh, okay. We're gonna oh, we're gonna nick his voice this then. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. <laughs> I feel like a dick now, because obviously uh, it's Connor's mission to find. It's Connor's mission to find and deal with the deviants. You know that's what Connor's made to do. But I'm also playing as the deviants as well. You know, and also playing as Kara. You know, there's just lots of things we're playing as. It just depends on who you like more, I guess. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location of Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Yes. Yes, of course. Why would Marcus be asking for the location to Jericho when he's been there? Don't you find that a bit suspicious, Simon? I just, I've only just sort of thought of that, actually. Don't leave me again, Marcus. Don't leave. Oh, I'm so sorry. About this since the first second I saw you. How'd you get in? Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Oh shit. Oh shit. What? What's your problem, Gavin? Fuck it, Gavin. Calm down, mate. Relax. 
Sort your shit out, you angry son of a bitch. Thought we was on the same team. Go, go fight the FBI. He's a cop. He ain't even FBI, if that's what you were wondering. Because we've seen him a few times in this playthrough. And he's just constantly giving me shit. I need to end the video now, so hopefully no one else attacks me. What happened here? Looks like oh, look, he's got a bloody nose. I guess it's from uh, Hank beating him up. <laughs> oh man, shit's gonna kick off in the next video, innit? Shit's gonna kick off. Car. Connor knows where uh, Marcus is. Marcus has been causing all kinds of shit, thanks to you guys. And we, I don't know what's going on with Kara. We haven't seen her for three videos now. Because uh, the last thing we heard from Kara is uh, she wants to get across the border to Canada. Because in Canada, they don't have any Android laws and they can be free and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!